Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So the Blender summer sale is ending in a couple of hours and we did find out that there's a couple of interesting add-ons that we missed out on mentioning on the previous videos. And these add-ons are now on sale and for those who like to grab them, you can simply come through and check these things out. They do cut across the modifiers, some render setup, some tutorials, you've also got some surfacing, modeling, all of these add-ons are right here. So for example, if you go over to the rendering section, you will notice that we've got from Smiles, we've got from Cassie Ship. All of these are right here. The Wrangler is also super interesting. It is now on sale, so go ahead and check it out if you really want to start playing with lights and do some very interesting things with it. Colorist is also another nice tool that is also available, currently doing sale. We've got the hand-drawn, the gobo light texture is super cool. For those who like to check these ones out, these things are on sale and this sale is running out in a couple of hours. For training, there's a ton of things that you can get from Node Group to the folks at CG Cookie. All of these are now on sale and for those who are thinking about, you know, learning how to create cinematic stuff, probably you want to get into cinematic. Then we've got the cinematic lighting in Blender. There's also the dark alley scene from Cime, which is currently available as well. And for those of course who like to get into particle simulation using the geometry nodes, probably like to learn how to work with that. Then there is a full tutorial from the folks at CG Cookie. The folks at CG Masters have already created something of course, and we did mention this. The cars inside out alongside the ride is also, you know, two good tutorials I would definitely suggest you check out. This, if you're trying to get into making models of cars and stuff like that, this would guide you through it. So if you like to get started with modeling the car, understanding the surfacing, understanding how to do your textures and all that extra stuff, you will find this one super useful. While this, on the other hand, will teach you how to create cinematic stuff in terms of animating your vehicles. So if you're thinking about cinematic animation for your cars and all that stuff, most probably you like to start getting into car animation then this is definitely one cool one that I would suggest. Actually, speaking of cars, we did mention a couple of cool car libraries and we missed out on mentioning the folks at 3D CGI Studio as they've just released the Heavy Lift. And this is currently on sale. At the same time, they've also created this nice one, which is called the Mega Fleet, and it is having over 160. So if you do combine that with what you get from the folks at B Production and also from the folks at Polygonic, there are tons of vehicles that you'll be getting. So if we go all the way back to the training section, you would also notice that we've got the hard surface tool from the folks at Creative Stream. And of course, we've also got the realistic portrait creation with Blender. And this is for those who like to create high quality 3D characters. So if you like to get started from start to finish, creating everything inside of Blender without going to any DCC app or using any third party add-on, this is definitely one I would suggest you take a look at. So tons of tutorials are here. The same thing can also be said for surfacing. If you like to get any of the surfacing tools, these are high quality cool stuff that are definitely available right now. So go ahead and check this out. For models, there are tons of models that are currently doing discount at this point. So if you like to get stylized therein, real cloud, or maybe you like to get the sci-fi library, you will definitely find this one super useful. The cloudscape is also a very nice one. And we already talked about the folks at B Production. They do have a truckload of nice, good, high quality stuff that you can get. Another interesting folks that have good quality stuff you can get as well that we missed out on mentioning in the last video are the folks at True VFX, as they've got the True Terrain, the True Sky, We've also got the undergrowth, which is an asset library. And of course, you can definitely find this one super useful. It's got a ton of things that you can work with. At the same time, we've also got Post Pro and also the True Asset, which is an upgraded asset library that you can work with that comes with tons of assets from the folks at Ambient CG and also Shared Textures. So if you're also thinking about getting these ones as well, you will find these tools super useful. We've also got Lazy Bones. So we did miss out on talking about Lazy Bones the other time, and this tool is just wonderful. What it allows you to do is you can simply select any mesh and you can convert it to become bones. And you know how much time this is gonna save you. You can just simply convert any mesh to become bones and you can quickly use this to rig any character of choice. So whether you're trying to rig a complex character or maybe you just wanna rig a very simple character. This would save you all that time of creating joints and also fiddling with them. This also comes with a couple of interesting tool sets as well, which you will definitely find very, very useful. The folks at Vertex Arcade have also created some cool stuff we've mentioned before, and this includes the customized female base mesh and also the adjustable mannequin. And with the adjustable mannequin, of course, you can create different variations of mannequins. You can tweak them to your hat content 
and you can create these things as bases prior to modeling or sculpting them. Anthony Bagatini has joined the sale as well and he's offering every single thing he's got here. So whether you're trying to get the bagger street or maybe you want to get the rain generator which is a very very brilliant tool for creating rain effects inside of blender this is very procedural by the way so you can simply go in make some changes alter how you like these things to work and it also supports collision wind and all that stuff you can definitely rest easy with it bagger has also created the bagger pack bundle which comes with a ton of things and we've also got the bagger lot, we've got the bagger batch, the bagger IV generator, and the ultimate bagger pie modifier tool, which is totally free. But then if you like to get the most out of it, you can benefit a lot by taking advantage of the 600 plus asset that comes with them. Decal Master is also another impressive, nice tool. So this is from the folks at CG Galaxy, and you can just simply throw decals on literally anything. It's got parameters that you can just go ahead and fiddle with, and you can change the decals to your hat content, got different kinds of modes that you can play with, control the decals how you want, and create some nice customization for yourself. The decal master alongside Stamp It is also available. So Stamp It is more like a tool that allows you to simply apply decals and PNGs to models. So it is very similar to what you've got with the decal master. However, these tools, they do serve different purposes and at certain point in time you will find one of these super useful and for clothes we forgot to mention cascade cascade is a real-time clothes simulation tool which allows you to work with pre-designed clothes that exist within the asset browser and you can simply drag them and drop them into your viewport actually you don't even need to simulate these things because most of them already have simulations in them and the folks are currently looking at adding more features for you to work with. Currently, this comes with about 37 real-time simulations which you can work with and with some interesting textures that you can manipulate and get some very cool results. One thing which I'll definitely mention is this tool is not a tool for creating clothes. However, it is more like a library of high-fidelity simulated clothes that you can drag into your viewport and start creating with. And for those who like to create clothes, we've already mentioned the Vine Cloth, which is currently doing great on Blender Market. And there is an additional upgrade for those who like to get it. So if you've bought version 1 or version 2 and you like to get version 2.5, you can just simply use the coupon code, the Vine Upgrade, and get going with it. They now have a brand new extension called the Divine Print, which allows you to layer various kinds of prints onto your model. And this is super cool. Additionally, we've also got the Simply Close Studio, which is by far one of the best tools that we've seen for creating cloth. So if you like to create clothes, however you choose, this tool just allows you get going with it. At the same time, this tool also comes with some interesting presets that you can use. So probably you want to create a cloth that has to do with cutting, or maybe you want to create a cloth that has to do with silk, denim. This tool has all of those parameters, it comes with the cloth pressure, the cloth density, and also the particle distance required to simulate that cloth however you want. So for those who are thinking about getting this, this is super cool. It's got a ton of cool updates that you can now work with. And at the same time, you can find more stuff from JSLAV on his storefront. And for those who work with text, we already mentioned a couple of interesting text tools that you can work with in the previous video. However, we missed out on the text improver version one. This just simply allow you to create amazing looking text with a couple of clicks, as this is more like an asset set of tool that you can work with. And it comes with about 20 high quality usable text tools that you can play with. So all you need to do is drag them into your viewport, make some alterations, change some of the parameters, and then you can start creating that beautiful text however you want. Alexander has also created some nice things that you might want to consider looking at, which includes the Quick Studio, the Light Array, the Quick Clouds and Fog, the simple 3D text intro, and 3D intro power and light. And for those who like working with textures, then the Lazy Untie One Click Texture Tool is now here. So this is also another interesting tool that just simply allows you create untiled textures from textures that are not seamless. So you can simply come through and pick this one up, and it's from the folks at Lazy3D. At the same time, Blender Procedural also has 
an additional tool that also allows you to do all of that stuff. So if you also want to work with this, this is also available from the folks at Blender Procedural. So I will suggest that you come through, compare, contrast, and know exactly which fits. The folks at Blender Procedural has also created the AI library, which is more like a tool that allows you to generate 3D models from simple images. Now, most people would have varying thoughts about this one, but if you just want to do a quick bash, then you can definitely find this one super cool. At the same time, they've also released the Auto Depth AI, which allows you to create depth for images by simply using AI. And all of this happens inside of Blender. You can also generate your images inside of Blender with this tool. And it is just quite interesting what this tool has to offer. The folks at Blender Procedura has created a couple of interesting things. So for those who like to take a look at this, then you can simply go over to the link in the description and check this out. So this is it from Lazy 3D all the way to Ruben, who's just recently created this Smart Assistant AI tool that works with you right inside of Blender, allowing you to ask questions, find results, and also explain certain features and how to get things done inside of Blender down to stamp it and also some other interesting stuff that you can find right here on blender market all of these cool things are currently doing a percentage of and i would definitely suggest that you take the opportunity of this final call and grab them tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section links to all of this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out and until i see you guys in the next one peace